Francis Ford Crapola oh. has a fax in the Epson fax machine. So, guys, did you watch last night's Sox game? And if so, did you catch the cheesecake displayed on certain camera angles to the right side of home plate? Mm -hmm. Two attractive black ladies were watching the game intently. One wore a red dress. The other had on a powder blue outfit unveiling, as Woody Allen once said, a set of parabolas that would give vertigo to a yak. Mm -hmm. Says, let's just say the best angels were not on the field. They were very telegenic. I saw that myself. I don't know if they were, I think they were Spanish. I don't they know if they were black. Latinas. You know what, they, they might have, the you know, reason why, because they reminded me of, um, what was it, Do the Right Thing, uh, um, Rosie Perez? Yeah, that, that's what one of them looked like, because she was chewing her gum, and just like, oh, he's cute. Oh, he is cute. That's well, when I, Rosie Perez was younger, she had a nice set of parabolas on her. Yes. get to see and do the right thing, yes. right? Yes, that's right, Pookie. Mookie. 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 Or, or Pookie. Or Pookie. Who was a great infielder. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Got it. <laughs> see, what? You, you have to understand. I mean, you've worked with Jason before. But oh, see, that's, yeah. That's the kind of thing that you say in a host's ear. And a host with less discipline would have probably blurted that out of you know, the air. No, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, but he, when he worked with less discipline, he probably would have said something like that. You know what? Uh, Norm Van Leer would have said it. Yeah. He would have said it. <laughs> she got big tot time. <laughs> now says something wrong. Doody doody do 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 here. You know, guys, it makes me feel so good just to say that now. I can say it at work, and when I'm at home, it's just great. Love I mean, it. The socks market everything else, so why not? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I got a question. Blame. Did Gary take these, these last two days off? Is he with Jim Neighbors getting ready for, for practicing the song ah, he's going to sing Sunday? Just to sing back door again in Indiana. Maybe yeah. he's at his palatial estate in Hawaii. Hey, buddy. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> you too. We'll have to you know, that. actually... Len Casper has a little Jim Neighbors in him. Back home in Indiana. Out of here! <laughs> After the race, we'll be out of here! For Todd Wolf this day. <laughs> race fans, this day is all about magical moments. Uh -huh. And here is a magical moment. Hey, buddy. Back home again in Indiana. Our dear friend... Mr. Jim Neighbor. My enemy. Out of here. Jim. Jason, run. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Custom aid news for me. Yeah, exactly right. I call my girl. Jason, run. <laughs> Damn it. Run. Uh -oh. <laughs> Fast. Yeah, DJ's running too. <laughs> DJ's he's not, along with us. DJ's not quite sure if he has to run, so he keeps looking back over his shoulder. Troll waving in the wind. <laughs> run, Jason, run! Come on, hook all, they gotta, down. all they gotta do is catch you. He just gotta outrun you. Yeah, well. Hey, Don't get me. I'll trip. They got me. He you can really me? belt that song out, though, man. You gotta yeah, give him credit. There's the rope tightening. There it is. When I dream of they got me. Jason just keeps running. That's exactly right. <laughs> there, there it is. For my Indiana home. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh. Well, you're exactly right, Jack. As. I have to look at that as a little bit of a defensive blunder. I think you got to go for the guy at second. You know, I don't, I don't think he has any chance of making this throw and throwing this guy out at third base. Um, he also might have to have a, an infielder letting him know that, hey, you know what, Canerco's going. Don't let him get to second base. Keep that double play in order. But uh, now here we have another White Sox rally. Well, you're exactly right, Jack, as... <laughs> don't call him jackass. Yeah, don't call him jackass. You're hired, by the way, Jack, if you want it. He's good. You can have it if you I mean, I mean constructive criticism on the White Sox. How about that? There, there's a switch. You're exactly right, jackass. <laughs> uh oh! Out of here! <laughs> he put it on the ball! Out of here! I want to get my call in. 
out of here. What are you talking about, Len? Len! Out of that one back out of here. Here's Napy Perez. He's due. <laughs> and bad. Yes. Sports Radio 670. We'll be back in a moment and we'll chat. No, no, hold on. What? We got something else. The barbecue man. I know the barbecue man's coming up. We're going to have grilling tips. If you're grilling Are Vince tips. Kelly and Darren Jackson ever going to do a game together? There's a high fly ball to left field and going back at the track to the wall. It's gone. Uh oh! Out of here! <laughs> well, no, now you keep, are you some uh, <laughs> three man move? Oh, and then Led Kazer pipes up. Yes, and then Jack McDowell criticizes him. <laughs> that's that's what it is. I like it. And I it, do. Does Don Drysdale show up? <laughs> oh, don't do that. Ready at the wall. This ball is gone. See, that was a consistent home run call. Mercy. <clears throat> <laughs> that's exactly right, Jackass. Mercy. You're right. You piece of crap. Well, you're exactly right, Jackass. <laughs> That's unfair. My cough's going to be just as good. <sighs> Out of here. Mike Huff doing the game today with DJ. Sports Radio 670, WSCR. The score. Out of here.